Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Engineer's Life 2 series and today well we're going to be setting up some biodiesel production and getting the biodiesel generator all set up and ready to go. So go ahead grab yourself a snack or drink and let's jump on in today's episode. In the last episode of our Engineer's Life series here we went ahead and well we made the metal press so that way plates and stuff will be a lot cheaper to make. And we also went ahead and we got our bees making us some basic resources. So now that we have some resources and can cheaply make plates, let's go ahead and start making some machines. Now for a lot of the bigger machines like arc furnaces and stuff like that, I know they require a lot of RF to keep up and running. So I doubt our water wheels here are going to be producing enough energy for us to actually run that. So what I think we're going to do is we are going to start off by trying to get biodiesel. And get the diesel generator and stuff all set up i think that'll be a good first step but in order to go ahead and set up a diesel generator well we are gonna have to basically craft a lot of stuff we're gonna need a squeezer a fermenter a refinery garden cloches we're gonna need a lot of stuff so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna jump on into a time lapse and let's get all this stuff crafted up And with that there, we have officially finished all the crafting and the building and stuff. As you can see, I made like basically little shelves or not really little, but big shelves for all the machines and stuff. I kind of realized when I was about to start that, yeah, there's not a whole lot of space here. And if I put everything on the ground, well, it's going to fill up pretty quickly. So I decided to throw everything up on shelves and stuff like that to kind of save on space. And we also have, I think this is called a catwalk, I'm not too sure, I think that's what it's called, but yeah, we have kind of a catwalk going up here and around all the machines and stuff. So that way we can get up here, even though, you know, we do have a jetpack, but sometimes it's nice to put stuff like this around just for looks. So now that we have everything all ready now, let's go ahead and let's start generating some RF. So what we gotta do here is basically at each of these garden cloches to basically jumpstart all this what we got to do throw in some dirt and i'm gonna throw in some industrial hemp that'll start growing that up and we also got to go ahead and do the same with potatoes now i know there's potatoes and potato seeds so i okay so that does work i think i guess we'll see yeah it does seem to be growing so that is awesome and let's go ahead, let's set it up for all the rest. Get at least the dirt in for right now, because I don't have enough, like, seeds and stuff. I'm kind of curious, does the simple farming potato seeds work in here as well? Uh, doesn't look like it. Okay. So you do need actual potatoes for this. That is good to know. And there we go. I went ahead, I got all the dirt and all the seeds and stuff put in. And now, as you can see, it's all slowly making its way over this way. Now, if we take a look over here... What I basically have it doing here is they go down here, the seeds and stuff will be thrown in here, or the industrial hemp seeds anyway. And then the potatoes will just go over there and get thrown in 
to the machine from like over at this router here and everything else kind of just gets thrown over here right now we're mostly just getting that stuff which is really good for string so i'm gonna set up like make this go into like a storage thing or something i think is what i'm gonna do so we are really struggling to keep up here by the looks of it so all the machines are all out of energy they got they basically ran out instantly as soon as they started getting potatoes and seeds and stuff so definitely a good thing we're setting this up now if we take a look at the refinery here we have made a little bit of plant oil we just need to wait for some ethanol to be made basically and then we'll be able to make our first little bit of uh biodiesel and stuff and get some actual power going through all this stuff so i just went ahead and i checked out all the batteries on the water wheels and well they're completely full and these things are struggling so i think it's just the cables that need to be upgraded so i think we're gonna go ahead and do that so i think i'm just gonna go and jump right into high voltage and stuff so i think i figured out the problem as it turns out i'm just an idiot so if we go back here i just kind of forgot to connect some wires up to the ones up there oh hi give me one second please so apparently i just forgot to do this and now we should be good let's take a look let's take a look this should be yeah that's filling up now yeah that's all it was i was just being an idiot okay cool so maybe we don't have to upgrade quite yet okay can i just like i don't want to get the effect he gives so can i just yeah there we go perfect nice so as you can hear it is all working now so yeah that was the only issue right there i was just being an idiot yeah that is all working but i can say we definitely should go ahead and swap over to high voltage wires because well yeah it's not doing the best job at powering everything so we're gonna go ahead and do that anyway and there we go with that there we now have high voltage cables going to all of our machines we just set up here and i also went ahead and i put a few transformers back here i think that's what they're called yeah transformers so basically this one goes from high voltage to medium voltage and then this one goes from medium to low voltage so that way the high voltage stuff will be able to provide power to like everything connected to the low voltage cables so nice to have that set up so something to keep in mind with the transformers is i don't think you're able to actually step up the power so like if you have something connected to low voltage cables you can't get the power to go to the high voltage i don't think so after leaving this stuff running for a little while now i can say that we definitely need to go ahead and get some more potatoes because if we take a look at here i think this was the potato one yeah this here is basically empty but if we take a look at the other one then you'll see it's completely full so what I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and swap out one of the garden cloches up there or one of the hemp seed ones with the potato one. And I do have an extra spot where I can squeeze a potato one in there. So I'll probably do that as well. And we'll see how this runs. So I went ahead and I played around a little bit there with all the garden cloches. And in the end, I decided to go with six hemp seed ones and a total of nine potato ones. And with that right there, we should be getting 720 millibuckets of both ethanol and the plant oil, I'm pretty sure is what it's called. But yeah, if we take a look up here, as you can see, all of these are potatoes, and we got a total of 8 of them going along here, and the extra potato one right here. And then right here, we have a total of 6 hemp seed ones. And yeah, that's all we have. And since they are generating the same amount of, like, millibuckets of whatever it is ethanol or plant oil this should eventually fill up as well with ethanol so and once this here fills up with ethanol basically the one up there will also start to fill up this thing here and when that happens there well eventually the conveyor belts are gonna end up getting clogged up so we're gonna have to think of a way to deal with that i'm kind of hoping what we can do is basically make the items go through into a composter or whatever and try and make like bone meal or something like that i think that'd be a good idea and there we go i set up a nice and simple composter right here so basically everything just goes through the item router here and either goes right here or if it's industrial hemp fibers here then they go straight into this little thing here the storage crate 
But yeah, now when this stuff all fills up, it'll all just go right over there and we can get bone meal. And it will start filling up here soon because, well, it's already making a lot more biodiesel than the diesel generator over here can actually handle. So that's going to start filling up here soon. So with that right there, I would say we are done with creating biodiesel. We got way more than enough being generated. And, well, the generator seems to be able to go at all times by the looks of it. And with the generator and stuff all up and running and ready to go, I think this is a good place to call it quits for this episode. So thank you guys all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, then don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe for more modded Minecraft in the future. And I will see you all in the next episode. So until then, have fun everybody.